Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So for today, we are going to learn unit 2, science room rules. Usually, uh, during our science lesson, we will go into science room. So, we must know what are the rules in the science room. Okay class, let's start. So for this topic, we will be looking at three things. One is before activity, during activity, and after activity. Okay, activity here means experiment or investigation. So, when you are in science room, you must follow all the rules. So, now take up your science textbook, turn to page 24. Adhere to science room rules. Okay, the science room rules must always be practiced and followed. What are the science room rules that must be adhered to? Okay, kita tengok peraturan bilik science yang perlu dipatuhi before doing any activity or experiment. Okay, so the first one, open all doors and windows before starting any activity. Why must we open all the doors and windows when we are in the science room? Okay, when you are in science room, for example, you are conducting an experiment. And let's say that experiment involves a chemical. So you need airflow so that the smell of the chemical can go away. Okay. In science room, there is always a lot of chemical substances. So, we need airflow. So, that's why we need to open all doors and windows before starting any activity. Okay, number two. Wear shoes that cover the feet. Okay, hey, you are not wearing shoes. It's not safe when we are in the science room. Wearing shoes is also one of the school rules. Why do we need to always wear shoes in the science room? Okay, you should never enter the science room with barefoot or with uh, slippers. Okay, you should always wear shoes that cover the feet. Okay, student. Let's say you are doing an experiment and suddenly one of your friend drop a beaker. Okay, a beaker is made from glass and these shoes can protect you from injury. So this is for safety purpose. They ask you to wear the shoes that cover the feet all the time. So now we are going to look at during activity. Always take science apparatus in a proper and careful manner. So when you are taking science apparatus, you should be proper and extra careful. You cannot simply go and take the science apparatus. Okay? What would happen if all the pupils rushed to take their science apparatus? Imagine, you are in the class of 37 kids. All of you are rushing and running to take science apparatus to do your experiment. What gonna happen? You're gonna fall down and may cause injury. So, you should never run in the science room. Okay, number four. Handle equipment and apparatus with care. Okay, these two boys are scribbling on the desk of the science room. 
what would you do if you saw such situation okay if you see such a uh, situation always go to science teacher and inform the teacher okay the science teacher know what she should do okay Okay, and then after activity, okay, after you have complete all the activities, all the experiment and you want to go out from the science room, make sure you switch off all fans and lights before leaving the science room. Okay, why must we switch off all the fans and lights before leaving the science room? Okay, it's common sense. Okay, we cannot waste our electricity. Same goes when you are leaving your class or your house. Okay, you must switch off all the lights and fan. Okay, so here let's remember, okay, science room rules. Okay, before activity is uh, before you start any experiment, okay? Open all windows, open all doors and windows when you are in the science room to allow light and air flow. Wear shoes that cover the feet to prevent injury in the science room. And then during activity, take science apparatus in a proper and careful manner to prevent the apparatus or substance from falling. Do not scribble on the on the tables and break any science apparatus to ensure the science room is neat and tidy. After activity, switch off all fans and lights before leaving the science room to avoid from wasting electricity. Okay, so there are all five rules that we must follow when we enter the science room. Okay, unit 2 is very simple. We only learn about this science room rules. Okay, so now take out your science activity book. We are going to do page 15 and 16. Okay, page 15 science room rules before during and after okay write the date write suitable science room rules for the following situations okay there are four situations here situation one two three and four so you need to write the suitable science room rules okay in the space provided you can refer in your textbook okay i will give you example for situation one okay situation one we can see in the picture the girls is opening the window okay so the answer for situation one is open all doors and windows before starting any activity okay you can refer here you can refer in your textbook page 24 and 25 so you can take the answers here copy this into the space provided okay so now you do for situation 2 3 and also 4 okay and then after you have done page 15 we go to page 16 science room rules Write the mistake made and the rule that must be followed in each situation. Okay, here there are three pictures. Okay, and the peoples are doing mistake here. So, you must identify. Okay, what are the mistakes? Okay, for example, number one. In the picture, we can see that the boy is wearing a slipper. Okay. okay, so the mistake, the boy wears slipper in the science room. Okay, rule to be followed. 
wear shoes that cover the feet to prevent injury in the science room. Okay, so rules to be followed. You can take here, okay, in your science textbook. Or you can refer to page uh, 24 and 25 also. Okay, I hope you can do this task and submit in the Google Classroom. Okay, that's all for unit 2. Okay, next lesson will be unit 3. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. So, we will meet again in our next lesson. Thank you and goodbye.